Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. When we last left off in the last episode, we, uh, we took down Vivolgia. And this time around, we're going to be, uh... We're gonna do a, do a little bit of exploring, because I haven't been doing that. I only have, uh... As we can see over here, I only have 18 gold skull tulas, and I think that's a disgrace, maybe. Um, I plan- what I plan on doing is because I- Nope. <laughs> what I plan on doing is because I don't know where a lot of the gold skull tulas are by heart, I plan on doing, like, an episode bef like, probably before we fight Ganon. Uh, and I'm just gonna go around and collect all those gold skull tulas that I don't have. Because I want to do this game 100%, because I've never actually done that. So, uh, yeah, you guys are going to experience my first time playing this 100% with me. So that's kind of neat. But, um, we're just going to... Just going to roam around for a... What the hell? I didn't talk to you, Navi. So here we have a fairy's fountain, which I'm going to, uh... Hope I remember what to press. No, I don't. Got it. All right. <coughs> Sorry, I haven't I haven't recorded one of these in a while. So, all right. I finally got off my lazy butt and started recording. Ooh, hello, lady. Ugh. She's terrifying every time you see her. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, sexy lady. Welcome, Dan. I am the great fairy of wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I need to remember to speak loud and clear because uh, there's parts in my Let's Plays where I just don't talk loud at all. Like, I'll just start talking like this. And then the music of the... Your magic meter has enhanced. Uh, the music will overcompensate my voice. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. When battle has made you weary, please, come back to see me. Well, that was a vajay shot. So now we have a bigger meter for our magic, which is always fantastic. It means we can, uh, do a whole lot of stuff, actually. Um, I'm gonna go check up here. I don't think we can do anything up here yet, but... So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explore the areas that I'm going to like a little bit but there's some places we can't like there's some items and extra crap that I cannot get right now because we don't have certain items we we have to get from other temples so I have to wait for some of the stuff that I'm trying to do but I think that's rupees and I don't want them damn you wallet get bigger alright so basically I don't know where this takes us Oh, no, I still don't know where this takes us. Well, there's graphics clipping in through the roof right there. Uh... Really? So it takes us to the... Is that the big Goron? Holy shit! <laughs> I guess it is the big Goron. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I guess I'll speak to him. My brother opened a new store. It's Medigoron's Blade Store. However, I am better at making blades. Helian Carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. Okay, so basically, what that guy is referencing is, uh, I'm gonna go back through. No, I'm gonna go back down to Kokarka Village because, you know, YOLO. Roll. Damn it. I didn't do it at the right time. Um, basically, he was. That's a reference. Um, we we're, there's a quest. Like every Zelda game has a quest line. Uh, and this game's quest line helps you get a sword called the Big Goron Sword. And basically, there's a Big Goron in Goron Village who will, will make you Big Goron Sword. Uh, the only problem with that is, do we have the item to start that quest? No, we don't. Um. Do we? I was looking at the wrong slot. No, no, we don't. We don't have the trade quest item, and I don't even know what the trade quest item is at the moment off the top of my head, but, uh, you know, whatever. That's cool. 
Yeah, I did it at the time. Alright, so... Basically... We're gonna go visit our old friends, the Zoras. Because, uh, she's not doing it right now, but... Every so often, Navi will chime in ever so nicely and tell us that, uh... You know what? We haven't done this yet, have we? Let me, uh... Let me, uh... I don't even need that, actually, to be perfectly honest. Let's go do this little, uh, minigame right here, because this one, <clears throat> I know, is something we can do. Because, if we... Do you want to play my game? 20 rupees per play. Okay. This might be a little difficult, actually. HA! <laughs> yeah, I didn't even... Is it the same as when we were a kid? Aw, oh, man, this is so much easier on the... 3DS! <laughs> this is awesome. I'm doing perfect. He might give me a second try because I'm not sucking. I don't know, though. I doubt it. I doubt it! Almost. Well, alright, I'll give you a free try. Okay, cool. He does give us a free try. <sighs> alright. Alright, we got this. We got this. Do they come out in random orders or something? Apparently. Alright, we got this. We've got this. We've got this. Yes! We did it. And we get a bigger quiver. Which lets us hold more arrows. Which is definitely always a good thing. So, we're just going to leave here now. All you get for doing that now is more rupees, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, <sighs> let's see. Do, 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 where, there it is. So it's right down up. Sorry, I gotta keep checking that. I don't want to keep checking it, but my controller is not a 64 controller because, sadly, I have to emulate this because I don't have a capture card. But I wanted to check something. I've been playing the 3DS version again because, you know... Why not? Okay, so there is no Gold Skull Tula on this wall like there is in the 3DS version. Alright, that's all I needed to uh, confirm. Whatever. Let's make it daylight again. Because I don't like nighttime. Nighttime is stupid. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so. Basically, this episode, we're going to be doing something <laughs> a little different. We're going to be collecting some things, um, some of which, I believe, uh, damn it, I don't know what the song is. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Uh, that's, yes. Up, right, up, right, left, up. Alright. Up, right, up, right, up. Yeah. Shit. Up, right. What am I? Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. <laughs> I was pressing down instead of left. My B. Back to the Temple of Time with you, Link. Ugh. So, I've been watching a bunch of Let's Players just to try to figure out a good technique I could use for myself. Um, been watching a lot of Chugga Conroy. Holy crap, that guy is awesome. Uh. I don't know. He made. <laughs> He made a... He started singing Back to the Lab again from uh, Cartoon Network, and I was like, dude, me and you, we've got to be friends. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to turn back into Little Link, <clears throat> because we have to be Little Link to get one of the things I'm trying to get right now. Thus, now we're Little Link. That's good. Alright, so... Now we're going to make our way back to the, uh... Back to the castle. Back to the castle again. Not again, but to the castle again. Shit. Now I've started. Now, now I've got the song in my head. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I really I want to capture this game at its like its original quality, and I know emulators are going to like alter it a little bit, but. Ooh, pardon me. Um, I simply can't. I cannot emulate this game. I can't record this game besides an emulator because I don't have a capture card. I'm trying to get one, but uh, I'm a little on the short side. Payment received. Welcome. Which mask can I lend to you? That one. Yes. Da-da-da-da. You got the skull mask. I think you... 
I think you get a piece of heart for doing this quest. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm very terrible at remembering things, guys. You have to understand. You have to understand my plea. But, um... Okay, so we... So we... Really? Come on, douche. Climb that! Okay, I was being quiet again. I can't do that! I have to make sure my voice is emulated perfectly! Alright. Sorry about that. Um, I don't want to be too loud, too, but, you know, it's really difficult when we... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, we're gonna put it here. We only have one more bottle to get? Sweet. I don't know where you get it. There you go. La 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 la. Ta-da! We have a very anti-aliasing hole. Is that what that's called? Is that how you use that word? The clip? I don't know. It happens sometimes. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Let's summon the old great fairy, shall we? Let's see what she has to say. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 you're very seductive. Get out. I have things to do. Come on now. Welcome, Dan. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <clears throat> I only know where one of these spells is, like, off the top of my head. I actually had to look up where this one was. I knew it was somewhere in... I don't know. I'm pretty dumb. My memory is terrible. So here we have Dens Fire. It's a fireball. It's fireball engulfs everything. It's attack magic can be used with a C-stick. You can use Dense Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Yeah, they always say that. Um, we act I think we actually need Dense Fire for the Fire Temple. Not the Fire Temple, I'm stupid. Uh, for the Shadow Temple. But, I'm gonna clip ahead, or <laughs> clip, I'm gonna cut ahead to, uh, how does this work? Can I climb out? Are there no more guards? There's not- no, there's still guards. I'm just gonna have to throw them out. Uh, I'm gonna cut and meet you guys back where we need to be, so, uh... Actually, you know what? <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna cut. I'm cutting. <laughs> and we're back. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, we're gonna go visit our friends, the, uh, the Zoras. Why? Because we haven't seen them in a while, and you've already heard this joke, but I simply don't care. Um, yeah, so we're supposed to be going to the Zora's River next. Um, we go here, and as adult Link, this place is like ten times easier. Uh, you can play the, the Make It Rain song to get in there. Uh, if you didn't plant one of those seeds back when you were young, you could just take the regular route. But, because we put the seeds where they were, we can now easily make our way over here with very little effort. Ta-da! I'm gonna wait. Oh, look! It's snowing! I want it to be daytime. <laughs> I hate nighttime. Nighttime is stupid! Alright, so, just like before, we play the song of the royal family to get our access to the Zora's temple. Or, not Zora's temple, uh, the Zora's domain. Mmm. That snow's a little ominous. There was no snow here last time. I wonder why that is. Don't talk to that. I was trying to roll jump. <laughs> Alright. We're running low on- HOLY MOLY! HOLY CRAP! This place! This place is frozen! That's not good at all. The Zoras, where are they? Are they dead? Oh god! King Zora, please tell me you're alive! I need you, buddy! Oh, okay, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, so Zora's domain is completely frozen right now. And, uh... There's, uh, there's old Kingy frozen in red ice for whatever reason. Um... Yeah, uh, no, no matter what you do... Uh, this place is gonna be frozen when you're an adult, because that's just the way it is. And we're running low on time, but, uh, as you can see, 
Jabu Jabu is dead in this uh, this time frame. So no more Jabu Jabu, unfortunately. But um, basically, I don't think we lose health in the water. No, we don't. Okay, good. Um, what you're gonna want to do, or what we're gonna want to do, I'm gonna kind of, tr I'm pl these are let's plays, but I'm kind of gonna try and treat them like a walkthrough too. So basically, you're gonna want to come over here and throw a bomb. And ta-da! I'm gonna treat it like a walkthrough if I know what I'm doing. Uh, but in most cases, I do not know what I'm doing. We can't break that rock, because we need, uh, I don't know. I don't know why we can't break that rock. I don't have all the answers! Alright. Play the Zelda's lullaby. Sorry, I got like some sort of cold. Maybe my nose is just running. That's not good. So... We've seen three of these bitches <laughs> in this one episode. <laughs> Alright. Come on. We have things to do. Welcome, Dan. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please, take it. Very sexually. This one's green. And do you know why it's green? Because... It's Ferora's Wind. This is a warp magic. Yeah. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time, or warp to the point. You can use Ferora's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside. Okay. Yeah, so they're kind of pointless. It's kind of pointless, but, uh... When the battle has made you worry, come see me. So, yeah. Basically, these powers are based on, uh... The three goddesses, uh... Oh, my God. Din... I forgot them. Din, Ferora, and Nehru. Or however you... However you personally say them, that's how I say their names. Din, Ferora, and Nehru. But, um, this is all we have. This is all the time we have for this episode. Uh, a hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Later days, guys.